2011, myself and my friend Nathan here, both of us had been thinking on the lines of doing something about our parish. Both of us had realised that there was nothing in our village, everything was gone. We had seven businesses here at one stage and we were down to one pub. So you literally could not buy a loaf of bread or a pint of milk in the place. We called a big meeting and at that meeting we had the enterprise board, we had leader and we uh, spoke to the entire parish. We told them what we wanted to do and asked them if they'd like to become shareholders in the business. 300 houses in this parish and we have 300 shareholdings. Then we organised a Christmas market up in our community centre and at that market we had 42 tables of local people selling their bread, selling their jams, you know, crafts, whatever. We asked them at that if they'd be interested in doing it on a more permanent basis, which they said they would. And from that then we had an open night here to ask people to sign up as a volunteer, a, a producer, a craftsperson. At the moment now we have nine food producers and we have 10 craftspeople involved with us. They bring us local honey, local chutney, apple tart scones. All our confectionery here is made by local people. It's first class quality local food mm. and people just love it. We make our own soup here and our own bread and we have started a little enterprise with the local school and they have put in a garden up in the school and they grow their vegetables. So we're going to buy their vegetables from them and then bring them down and show them how to make the soup hope to develop outside. We'd like to have a men's shed facilities, the youth club could use it. And it, is literally, it would literally be an invaluable space for us for to promote um, the cohesion and the community involvement. It's getting stronger and stronger and stronger the whole time. We're four years in business, this is our fourth Christmas here. The young people are using it, we have the old people using it. It's not just for women, the men come in on a Sunday morning and we play the matches, bringing a heartbeat back to our community. Every teenager in this parish has had an opportunity to work here this summer. Okay. and what it has done for them. They've come in here with absolutely no skills mm -hmm. and they've left us with shop skills, till skills, waitressing skills, customer service skills. I have never taken a holiday in four years since it started but this year I'm going on holidays because I'm totally confident that anybody that's here can do right. the job. We're actually helping other communities to do this mm -hmm. and at the moment I'm mentoring a group in Lara and Cap Jordan and there's another one after opening in Anacarthy. There's another one starting in Capital Height, one in Rathangan, one in Kiltik. What it means the most to us and it gives me the most joy is to see what it's doing for people mm. and what it means to our whole and entire parish. You know, it, it, it's, it's just wonderful. For our first two years of trading, which is most unusual for any new start-up business, we broke even. Mm. We made a profit in year three. Mm. But the injection mm. of cash back into our community is phenomenal. All those people are paid every month. It's a lifeline. It's a mm. lifeline for a lot of them. And like new businesses have started because of what we've done here. I've got mm. four little micro-businesses. I may have been sceptical in the beginning mm. and about the local produce and wonder how would it mm. go. And we cannot keep it in. It's a very simple way to work, yeah. actually. Very, very simple concept. Benefiting everybody. There's people coming in and out all the time, there's the women in the other room knitting, and you can feel that this is a busy community hub. In a village like this where they, they don't have a shop, where they don't have a post office, and there isn't somewhere for the community to just come together, it's really, really lovely. And four people employed, and they're only going for four years, that, that's pretty impressive. Nice that there's, there's small scale production local produce being sold here. I mean, that's a, that's a business, it's a small business and that's somebody who's going to operate in a, probably in a rural location like this as well, where, where there often aren't a lot of jobs, where there's not a lot of enterprise and it's, it's more difficult to survive as a business. The shorter the supply chain, the more money stays within the local community as well. The fact that it's a cooperative structure, it is actually a co-op, so all the funds are going back into develop the business in some other way. It's, it's a not-for-profit enterprise. That's inspiring in itself. And if you bake in tarts and somebody buys it, you're proud of it. Yeah, yeah. And sure. the people are very proud of what they're doing. If this wasn't here now, what would happen to the shop? If it did, you could go up and down this village before we started and you would have no reason to stop. It's a, a place where they know they're welcome to come. Last year we had a terrible storm and I was going to close up one evening here at four o'clock and said I think I'd go home. There'd be nobody and next thing there was three or four of the kids in waiting for their parents. Mm. So I was so delighted yeah. and the kids know that if they forget their lunch come down here the mum and dad will pay mm. for it. If the dog is lost, mm. come here. We found dogs and we've, yeah. we've, we've, we've had, yeah. <laughs>